Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's, it's currently 2 in the morning and I'm doing some stuff to the Mustang. One of those is I'm putting a new decal on the spoiler, as you can see. It says, no, I do not want to race you. Uh, I made it myself. If you're interested in that decal or any others, I opened up an Etsy. It doesn't have a whole lot of decals on it yet, but trust me, it will eventually. So if you're interested, go ahead and check it out. But the main thing that I'm going to be that I'm doing to the Mustang is I'm taking, I am basically fixing the reverse camera. Whenever I took the trunk off and fixed the holes and everything and put the reverse camera back in, I put it back in upside down. So it's been upside down, and it's been bothering me. And it's whole lot. It's actually a whole lot harder to part because the sides also switch. So like left is right and right is left. It's very confusing. So I'm doing that. I've got it up right now. I haven't actually started, but that's what we're about to do. So let's, let's get it. Okay, so I've got the padding here off. And that right there is the reverse camera. I'm going to need some really tiny ass fucking sockets to get that off. And then I should be able to reverse it, and it should be good. The reverse camera is right there, as you can see. Right by the little drift because drift is life you know this is totally a fucking drift car not really but uh i'm gonna get started on that all right so the reverse camera is back in and it's right side up this time now we're gonna get started on putting the new decal on the spoiler but first i gotta take this one off you know the hi how are you so i finally got the decal off it took me about 20 fucking minutes because it kept like ripping i actually had to go in my room and grab my little weeding tool here to actually get them off but i got it off so now we're going to put the new one on no i do not want to race you let's go put it up against the spoiler first just to kind of see how it's gonna see how it's gonna fit on there i'm gonna set this down real quick Okay, so I think it'll fit on there pretty well. So let's get let's get to it. I almost forgot. Anytime you're gonna put a decal on any surface, you should always clean it. I use glass cleaner really anytime I put a decal on my car, even if it's not on glass, because it actually does a really good job at cleaning. So I'm just gonna wipe it down real quick and then we can actually put it on. As you can see, I got the backing all peeled off. The best way in my opinion to peel a decal like any decal is not from like the this part right here i what the best way in my opinion is to lay it down like this so that this is what you're seeing you know you're it's back you're seeing the back and peel it up from the back because there's a, it it just makes it a whole lot easier for it to come off onto the transfer tape but there it is so i'm gonna go put this on let's do it so another thing I would highly recommend, if you've got a longer decal like this, I would highly recommend having somebody help you put it on because it'll make it a whole lot easier. I unfortunately do not have anybody to help me put it on, so I'm kind of stuck doing it myself. But since I'm putting it on my spoiler, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from the top and go down with it. And then smooth it out with my fingers. And then I'm going to hit it with the squeegee just to make sure it's on. I'm going to hit it with the rough side. If you have a vel uh, squeegee with like little Velcro thing right here, I would recommend hitting it with that first and then going back and hitting it with the rough side. But in this case, I'm just going to hit it with the rough side. Uh, the reason you'd want to hit it with the felt side is so you don't damage or scratch anything, but I'm not worried about that right here. So peel this off. You want to go slowly when you're doing this, just in case something doesn't isn't sticking. But usually, if something isn't sticking, you're usually not. It's the vinyl because it should stick like this. Like it's it, like this is sticking perfectly. Like I'm not having any issues with it. And it looks good. I'm going to go back over with my fingers. I'm not going to go back over with the squeegee because I don't want to hit the ends right here and peel it up on the ends. I do not want to do that. So just go over with your fingers. 
but it looks good. I think it turned out really well. I think it actually looks a whole lot better than the one that was on there before because the Hi How Are You that was on there, I didn't really do a very good job at putting it on, but this one I think looks a whole lot better. There's no creases or anything in the letters. As you can see, I don't even think there's any bubbles, which is really good. So there's no bubbles or creases. The problem with the Hi How Are You one is that there was creases in the letters, like they folded whenever I was putting it on because I didn't do a very good job, but this looks really good. Now hopefully people will stop trying to race me. That's kind of the point of this, of putting that on there. I get a lot of people that try to race me and I think it's because of the wing itself. You know, when somebody is behind me and they see this giant carbon fiber wing, they're like, oh, this thing must be really fucking fast, which it is, but I don't want to race you. You know, I don't fucking, I do not want to race you. So hopefully, hopefully that helps with the situation. If not, oh well, it's funny. So, yeah. But that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.